Okay, um, the circle equation, and uh, what is it? Well, a circle, obviously, you have a center point, and it's all the points of the same distance around that center point. Wow, that was a pretty terrible one. I guess I could have done one a little better like this. So there's my center point and all the points around that that are equal. So that looks a lot better. So that's what a circle is. So you got a center C and the radius R. Okay. Now, if you overlay this on a grid, on an x-y axis, say anywhere, so there's x and there's y. Now, if the center C has a point, we'll just call it h and k. And the center R has a point, and we'll call it, uh, oh, let's be real inventive here and call it xy. So it could be any point along that circle. Um, a circle equation is derived from the distance formula. Yeah, which it makes it kind of convenient. Now I'm going to give you a lot of information here in this video, but this is where it comes from. Distance formula, if you remember, uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And so if our two points were h, k, and x, y, it looks something like this. And our distance between the two points is r. So here's my distance between the two points and R, and we don't know any of the x, you know, the x, y's will are going to be our variables, and h, k is my center. It'll be an actual point like two, three, or four, seven, or whatever, and so you'd have R for the distance between the two points, the center and the outside, is the square root of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And then if you were solving that, you know, we would want to get rid of the square root on both sides. So I would simply square both sides of the equation. I guess the square root's not on both sides, but you'd end up with r squared equaling x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So that's algebraically how you get to the to the or to the circle equation, which if you're not real strong in algebra, probably looks like just a whole bunch of witchcraft. And uh, but believe me, if you keep studying math, eventually this stops looking like witchcraft and starts looking like something cohesive and something a little bit beautiful. So again, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared is an is the equation of a circle where the center of your circle is h, k, and the radius of your circle is r. You just take the square root of that number, and you will always get your radius. So let's look at a couple problems. So I'm um, sorry this doesn't quite fit, but find the standard form of the equation of the circle that center is c, negative 4, 2, and whose point p is negative 1, negative 2. So, you know, back to our equation, x minus h squared plus y minus uh, k squared equals r squared. Hopefully I have those all right previously. Um, so what we could do right away is plug in the h and k. So here's h and here's k. And so what happens is h minus a negative 4 squared plus y minus a negative 2 squared and we don't have the radius squared yet and so that's the next step we'll need to find well minus minus is plus minus minus is plus so so far we've got x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals r squared now to find the radius you just need to simply find the distance between the two points Hopefully you've watched some previous videos and you know how to do that. So the distance equals, or in our case the radius equals, the square root of negative 1 uh, minus a negative 4 squared plus a negative 2 minus a negative, uh, let's see, I said 4, negative 2 squared. Just, yep, yep, minus negative 2 squared. 
So, you know, you go plus, plus, well, this becomes zero. And so you have d equals the square root. Well, this is also plus, plus. That's three. Three squared is nine. Plus uh, negative two plus, plus two is zero. So you really got the square root of nine for the distance. So your radius is 3, because that's the square root of 9. So now you can go back to your equation. I'll erase the r squared. And you could put in a 9 there. And hopefully I have that correct. Now one way to check that is with GeoGebra. I always like to check my stuff in GeoGebra to see if it's right. And sorry if my voice changes a little bit. I'll just talk a little louder, which will be annoying to you. But sorry. And you can just plug it in. So x, parenthesis x uh, plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals um, r squared is, I said, 9. And plot that, and there it is. So we can get that right there. Now, um, so your center is negative 4, negative 2, and your radius should be 9. So that point, we already know the center is right, but the point negative 1, negative 2 should be on that circle. So we'll type in negative 1, comma, negative 2. Hit enter, and sure enough, there it is. So that's one way to check it. We know we got it right. And, okay. So then that brings us to the final type of problem. And... Again, it doesn't quite fit, so sorry about that. It says, find the center and radius of a circle given by this equation. So this, is a, this should be radius so that it fits inside the screen. Um, so of a circle given by that equation. So here's our equation, and here's where it gets kind of tricky. Again, you could plug this into GeoGebra, but I'm going to require you to uh, solve this by completing the square. I mean, GeoGebra will pretty much give you the answer. However, um, if you remember completing the square, we're going to get our x's together, so x squared minus 6x, and we're going to get our y's together, y squared plus 4y, and then I'm going to move this 3 over to the right, so I'm going to add 3 to both sides and set it equal to 3. So when you complete the square, the circle is kind of an easy one to learn to complete the square on because there's no there's, oh, no, there's not a constant term out front in most of these problems. There'll be a few that there might be, and I'll show you an example of that on another video. But x squared minus 6x, you take your middle term, divide it by 2, and square it. So off to the side or in my head, I'll say 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. And so when I complete the square on this, I'm going to add 9 to this side of the equation. Whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you also do to the right side of the equation, so I'll also add 9. Then you take the 4, here's the next middle term, that's the difference here, is there's two of these middle terms that you have to complete the square on. So 4 divided by 2, again, I'm kind of doing this in my head, but I'm showing you my work. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to add that to both sides of the equation again. Whatever you add to the left, you have to add to the right. Sorry, I'm kind of working my way down on the side, but I'm scrunched in here. Now the reason you complete the square is so that it makes each part factorable. Now this part is factorable. Uh, minus plus is minus minus, and so you'd have x minus and x minus. Well 9 breaks into 3 and 3, and if you check that you get negative 6x. So that factored to x minus 3 squared. This step I usually skip, but Beans this maybe this is the first time you've ever seen it. Now this factor is similarly um, plus plus is plus plus, so y and y and plus plus. And four here breaks into two and two. And you check that, and again you get four y if you would distribute it back together. And so you have plus y plus two squared, and that equals, well. Combine all your terms over here, 9 and 4, um, 13, it looks like 16 if you add all that together, which is kind of nice. And these will, these first ones will turn out really nice for you with whole number answers and, and perfect squares and things like that. So we know the radius comes from here, the 16. 
So my radius is 4. Remember, you got to take the square root to get to R. And then your vertex, or your center of your circle, is positive 3, negative 2, because you change your signs coming out of the parentheses. Um, so there you have it. So let's uh, take a look at that equation and uh, make sure we're OK. So 3, negative 2, and a radius of 4. Again, we'll just open up GeoGebra and uh, plug that. Um, we'll just plug that original equation in. Let me get it so we can kind of see it here. And I'm going to be entering in the input down here in the bottom. But uh, it's going to be off screen for a second. x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared. And then minus 6x plus 4y. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Uh, minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Enter. And this is equation to the right. Let me kind of get this first one out of here so that we're... And right there it gives you the factored form. It gives you the... it does it for you. Um, so x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 16. So GeoGebra is a pretty powerful tool. <laughs> kind of nice. But there's your, there's your equation. Your center is going to be 3. If you wanted to enter your, your center, which is um, 3, negative 2, there it is. And uh, maybe you want the distance to check it. So I'll put a point out there. Let me kind of show you what I'm doing. I put a point out there, and now I'm going to go and measure the distance between the two, and from C to B, I'll click on the two points, and the distance is four. Oops. Let me pull that back. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. And so there it says BC is four, and also off to the side, BC equals four. So we know we're right. And hope this helps. Good luck, and see you next time.